Hey everyone, Paul here for PZ Guitar, your virtual practice partner with yet another spider drill. Spider drills are are great. They, they do so many things for you. So we've done spider drills where we travel down the strings and go back up. We go up the fretboard, down the fretboard. We do spider drills where we uh, reverse our fingers instead of ascending with our fingers, we descend with our fingers. We do spider drills where we stay on a string and go down and then before we shift strings, we do that also descending with our fingers and go up and down a string. We've done a spider drill uh, spider drill number five, I believe it was, where we ascended with our fingers, but we skipped, we, we did alternate fingers. We did uh, one, three, two, four. Today, we're going to reverse that. We're going to do four, two, three, one. And we're just going to, we're just going to live on, on the fifth position. We're just going to live around here. If you want to move it down to three or down to one to get a bigger stretch, Go right ahead. You want to go up and down the fretboard? That's perfectly fine too. But this is important that we actually uh, change the way we think about how it is. Not everything is not always ascending. Sometimes they're descending, and sometimes it's not in the right order. And so that's why we're skipping fingers here. We do one, three, two, four, or four, four, two, three, one. So let's get ready, and I'll see you in the lab. Let's get ready to practice. Hey everyone. Paul here, let's get ready to practice. Again, just, just to reiterate, uh, index finger on the fifth fret for this lesson, middle on the sixth, ring on the seventh, pinky on the eighth, and we're going to do four, two, three, one. So it's gonna be pinky, middle, ring, index. And then we'll go down a string and go and just do the same sequence until we get to the high E string. Repeat the high E string and then we go back up onto the B string, onto the G string, and D, and, uh, and A, and then the, the low E string. So we'll do that for a few minutes. So let's get ready. Here we go. High E again. Again. I'll 
see you in the recap. Hey everyone, thanks again for practicing with me. The, uh, the descending spotter drills where you lead off with your pinky are especially useful because it does exercise it. You do put extra emphasis on working that pinky and that's the, generally the weakest digit that you have when it comes to uh, fretting notes. So the fact that you always starting off a new string with that pinky puts emphasis on it. And so it's a good strengthening tool. And it's, 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 it's actually sometimes a little bit more valuable than going uh, index first. When you go pinky first, it makes it, 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 it just feels different. So again, if you want a bigger stretch, start in position one. If you want a little tighter stretch, start in position nine, eight or nine. Doesn't really matter. But living at five, nothing wrong with that. Go up and down, up and down, up and down, and alternate the fingers. You know, go ascending with fingers and descending with fingers. So I take this time right now. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. If you have a comment, leave a comment. It tells me what things that you guys want to practice with. And, uh, if it's possible, I will make a lesson and we can practice them together. So leave a comment, put a like down, let me know. That lets me know that I'm doing the right thing. And until next time, keep practicing.